Okay, this is our mobile device. It's an iPod uh, Touch, and it is very similar to the iPhone, except for it doesn't have a camera and it doesn't have a phone. It doesn't require a subscription to a carrier. It operates over Wi-Fi, and I'll give you an idea. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to click on the Settings tab. And you can see on settings, I'm clicking on the Wi-Fi tab, and you can see where it actually is actually selecting available Wi-Fi networks. Now, as you know, the Wi-Fi can be available at your work, it can be available at your home, it's available in Starbucks, many airports have free Wi-Fi. Any place that you can get Wi-Fi, restaurants do too, uh, you will be able to use this and stream video down into it. So if we look at the actual desktop of the device, you can see there's a number of icons that depict applications that are running on it. And I'm going to zoom up real close here, and you can see one of the icons there says Sun Learning. So what I want to do is I want to press on Sun Learning, and it actually, you can see it's actually loading live over Wi-Fi and takes me to a site inside of Sun. Now, this, if it's the first time that you've accessed it, it actually asks for your employee ID and your password, and it's integrated into our corporate uh, identification system. Uh, however, it does set a cookie that lets you use it for 10 days so that you don't have to continue to log in. So, uh, as you can see, there's a list of categories. There's several items here. There's a new button that will show the things that have most currently been loaded up. There's a hot button. We use this for any particular content that we want to highlight that maybe uh, a particular business unit may want to uh, emphasize to say we're taking. And then, of course, the genres that I showed you now, which are it's just an arbitrary list that we have now of different areas. And, and then, of course, we have a search capability and then a settings capability with the ability to have more uh, explicit general settings. So I'm going to click on go back to the home and I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to click on here and use the search capability and I'm going to type down here some search criteria and I'm going to push search and you can see that live it's gone out and found some content called X6250 CPU replacement. This would be content that's useful for our service engineers and you can see as it comes up it's actually uh, showing additional content that is in the same area and also you'll know that there's rating on these systems so people can rate these so they can know the content I'm actually going to start this one here by simply clicking on it and you will see that it's actually streaming the content for us and I'll let it play for a little bit. You're not going to be able to hear the sound right now because you're hearing my voice. But in a moment, I'll plug it in so that you can hear the sound. This is an example that shows a particular, uh, for a, a service technician, how to, how to change the CPU and, what to, and how to do that. Now, what's really interesting about this is we've taken the CAD drawings that our company uses when we're producing servers. And before the servers are even produced, we can re re we can co-op those CAD AutoCAD drawings, add skins to them like we did in this case, and then actually pro pro provide three-dimensional uh, training things. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this, show you a couple of other things. Now that I've showed you the search capacity, I'm going to go back to the home screen, and I'm going to go to the genres, and I'm just going to give you uh, an idea of what it is navigating several of these. So I can click under the software component, and you can see there's a number of other components and other areas. Uh, I can, I'll go down and click into sales enablement, for instance, because this is one of the, um, the big areas that we have. And you can see that there's a number of categories and content. I can actually zero in on selling business value. This is a particular partnership that we have with Tazpedia, the sales methodology. And you can see there's a number of videos available to us. I could select one, for instance, and I'll actually go ahead and, and uh, click on that so that we can see what it looks like when it's loaded up. And you can see it's actually streaming. This is not loaded on the device. It's actually streaming onto the device. And I can actually fast forward on that. And you can see that I can move wherever I want to in this device. It's very high fidelity. The sound's great, and you'll hear that in a minute. So let me go ahead and stop that. 
So the really interesting thing about all of this is that um, the whole idea here is that users that we're sharing this informal learning with are able to access the objects that they're looking for and the area of interest just in time, just the right size and exactly what they're looking for. it, And they can do it right when it happens because it's streaming. They can search for it, find it, and then it just streams down to their device. Now, alternatively, they could actually go in and choose to um, preload some stuff on the device and in that case you can actually sync it up and, and use RSS feed with iTunes and it actually will actually load uh, content that is actually on the device. Oops, sorry, let me pick another one here for us. If I go to video here and I pick a um, uh, 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 delivery, uh, 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 sorry about that. If I pick a particular subject, you can see that it's already here on my device. I can fast forward it and um, it's quite, quite impressive. That makes it easy and available for them. So this kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. Uh, it's interesting that the device also has mail and um, calendar and as well as the things we're always interested in, we can also check the current stock prices, which is nice. So uh, I'd like to invite you to uh, think about this and I think that it's really worthy of the use of the best mobile app. Thank you. It's unrealistic to expect that you can provide all of the answers for your customers all of the time. So what do you do? Maybe there are partners whose skills and resources you can leverage. Remember that many other organizations may be involved with your account. There are multiple go-to market approaches in use today. Many other companies are calling system integrators and distributors and are important to your plan as they could already be the chosen vendor may have additional This is a demonstration of the Sunblade X6250 Server Module CPU replacement. Start by unlocking the server blade cover and sliding the cover off. Push the Fault Remind button to illuminate the CPU fault indicator of the failed CPU. Identify the failed CPU, remove its heatsink using a Phillips No. 2 screwdriver, turning in 180 degree increments on adjacent screws until the screws and springs can be removed. Using a cotton swab and alcohol, clean the thermal grease off the CPU chip and the bottom of the heatsink.